So today's video, we're going to be talking about some. I'm just kidding. If any of you fell for that, don't worry. It's not your internet connection. I just felt like doing that. Today's video is going to be a combination of small video ideas and things that I wanted to talk about, but they weren't enough to make a full video out of them. So I just thought I'd combine them all, talk about them all in one video and make a normal length video out of them. Now, I'm not sure actually what I'm going to talk about. I'm just going to go through my book because I've got a whole book full of shit that I write down. I know there's definitely one thing I want to talk about that is recent, but some of them might be just super old and you might be thinking why are you looking at this now this is just completely irrelevant everyone has already spoken about this it's because i wrote it down and just never did anything about it <laughs> So the first thing that I wanted to talk about is actually recent. It's about Jay Station. If you don't know who Jay Station is, he's a YouTuber who, from what I seen yesterday, makes paranormal videos. Do not play Momo.exe at 3 a.m. challenge gone wrong. Unmasking Slenderman at 3 a.m. challenge. OMG, so scary. Those type of paranormal videos. But we're going to be talking about one specific video that he made a few days ago. As I'm sure most of you have heard by now, Mac Miller unfortunately passed away the other day due to an overdose. Pretty much Jay Station created a video. I don't even think it was 24 hours after he passed away, but the video is called Mac Miller Spirit Box Challenge at 3 a.m. Speaks about Ariana Grande. What are you doing? Let's just watch the video. What is poppin' guys? Back with another one. As you guys might have heard by now, Mac Miller unfortunately passed away today. Yeah, so he said today. So keep in mind that he made this video not even a day after it happened. It's a shitty thing to do no matter how long it's been, but at the start he talks about how he used to listen to Mac Miller a lot during high school and how he's a fan of him and, and stuff like that. Addiction is a very serious thing, guys. They were going to do a EVP session to try to communicate with Mac Miller see if we can hear anything see if we can actually communicate with it a lot of times when people first pass away they haven't quite completely crossed over to the other side yet so if there's any time for us to actually communicate with Mac Miller it's going to be right now that's just an excuse for him to make a video about it just a few hours after it happened just because everyone's talking about it that's the excuse he's made for this smash the like button on this video every like on this video is a prayer for Mac Miller, his friends, or his family. Let's try to hit a hundred thousand likes for Mac Miller, guys. Oh my god. You know, making up this bullshit for views is one thing, but now pretty much just using the situation to get likes on a video, that's it. We actually got this device right here, which is an EVP device, scans the AM, FM radio waves at a really, really high pace. It's almost globally accepted that EVPs is a real form for for any spirits to communicate to the real world. And by the way, you know, if anyone's into paranormal stuff and all these devices and stuff like that that people use to contact ghosts and, and stuff like that, that's fine. I'm not saying they're all bullshit and they don't work. I don't know how they work. I'm sure they do, but I'm just saying that I think this video is clearly just because it, it's a celebrity and everyone's talking about it and he just wants to clickbait it to get more views and stuff. There needs to be more help available for anybody facing addiction, guys. We're going to turn on the EVP right now and in order for this to actually work guys we need to send the radio waves to a Bluetooth speaker so right guys so it is working this is the sound whoa thought I heard something right there all right Mac Miller You could think of so many different words and phrases that would fit the inaudible parts he's putting text over. I think it's an actual thing. I just don't know like the name of it. It's when you hear something that's inaudible and you can't quite make out what it is. But if someone tells you what it's saying, you'll be able to hear it. And I just feel like there could be so many different things that, you know, someone could tell you that it's saying and then you listen to it and you can hear all these different things. Can you try to look for Mac Miller? Come to the radio frequency. Yo, yo, look at this freaking, dude, that's his video or something. 
Oh wow guys, look at this. My Wi-Fi just completely stopped working. It stopped loading everything. My Wi-Fi is really looking out for me right now. It really wants the best for me. It wants me to stop watching this video. Now he's acting like a spirit is transmitting a Mac Miller video onto his TV. My bullshit detector is off the charts right now. I see you. It's just the background of my freaking TV and now it's Mac Miller. That's gotta be a sign. Man, I think we got connection with Mac Miller there for a sec. Is that you? Am I the only one who noticed that when he supposedly said was in love with somebody, it sounded different to all the other supposed voices that he heard throughout the video? Not sure if it's just like that, but this one sounds like it was more manually added in. Like he recorded that and then put it in over this racket of noise that the machine's making. It, it sounds like it was recorded from a phone call. Like he just recorded someone else saying it through a phone and then edited it in afterwards. I'm pretty sure that's what it is at this point. I know the machines make these weird noises and the, you know, you can hear these like inaudible voices, but this bit just sounds so obviously added in. Like they clearly just recorded this bit, edited it with some voice effects and just added it in afterwards. And is it just a coincidence that these voices are just so much clearer than the rest? <laughs> Use social media? They're really pretty much pretending to be Mac Miller because it's just clear that they added these voices in. They're pretending to be him like he's here and saying things like it's from what he actually did and using it for likes and shit. Like, it's just so bad. It's okay. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, no. Oh. It's Ariana Grande, bro. So now they're pretending like the, the spirit is transmitting a Ariana Grande video onto the TV screen. If any of you didn't know, by the way, Ariana Grande was his girlfriend, but they broke up a few months ago. You know what, guys? I've actually got a magic box as well. It's, uh, it's a truth detector. Pretty much what this does, it's a magical box that detects truth. It makes similar noises to that EVP thing that he has, and you can actually make out what it's saying, and pretty much what it does is it describes things accurately, completely sums it up accurately so let's turn it on and see what it says <laughs> Wow, did you hear that? I think it said this video is bullshit. Wow, magic box, you've done it again. That was insane. That was definitely Mac Miller. It definitely wasn't. It was definitely you. Anyway, that's the end of the video, pretty much. He does like an outro. Just seems like every single time a celebrity passes away, there's always clickbaiters who make a video within the first 24 hours of it happening just to get views and stuff. I mean, remember that? Who was that guy? He made like eight videos about X after he passed away within the, like the first 48 hours of it happening. Eight videos within 48 hours like that is just but I just wanted to talk about this video because there's actually the video has 27,000 likes it does have more dislikes than likes but still the fact that there's 27,000 likes just shows that people actually believe it when to me it's just clear that he added in the voices but anyway that video aside rest in peace to Mac Miller <laughs> Now, the next thing I wanted to talk about is kind of old, but it's a video by the Dobre Brothers, okay? The Dobre Brothers made a song, and it features 6 ix 9 and I don't watch their videos, so I'm not sure if they've talked about this in one of them, but it's not actually 6 ix 9 Now, I won't lie, they did a very good job at making it look like him and finding someone that sounds like him. Don't think I'm a fool, yeah. Hit it, hit it. I don't miss there are people in the comments saying it's not 6 9 but a lot of their subs seem to be like really, really young. And they're just like, that is 6 9 idiot. That clearly is him. And as far as his verse goes, it's like 10 seconds long. And there's never a clear shot of his face. It's always, there's always something in front of it. He's always like a mile away from the camera. And that's why they made his verse so short. Because the longer the verse, the more people have time to figure out that it's not him. Came across this song a few months ago and they were just my thoughts. <laughs> The next thing I want to talk about is a certain type of video that's been really popular recently. Now, I'm not going to be reacting to them just simply because um, most of them are made 
by morgues and I've made two morgues videos in the past and the last one was like two weeks ago I might look at a bit of it because this isn't an entire video about morgues but these are the videos this one was uploaded by morgues mum I spent the night in morgues bedroom and he had no idea 24 hour challenge look at the thumbnail bro it's his mum under the bed and morgues in his gut like that's just so weird to me no I spent the night in my ex-girlfriend's house and she had no idea. I spent the night in my girlfriend's house and she had no idea. 24 hour challenge. You know it's fake when there's a clip like this in it. Yeah, but that's the only reason I wanted to talk about those videos, just because they're just so weird. Morgs has the best thumbnails though, I swear. I mean, this was uploaded by his girlfriend, but still, he's in the video. Never have I ever with my boyfriend, Morgs gone too far. This is the thumbnail, look at his face. He's making the best thumbnails in the game. He surpassed Ali A. He surpassed the thumbnail god. <laughs> Now the next thing I want to talk about is the news section on Snapchat. If you've not got Snapchat, there's this part where it's just news. And one thing I notice is there's this Instagram model called um, Demi. I forgot her last name. Demi Rose, I think. And every single time she uploads a selfie, there's a, an entire article written about the selfie on the Snapchat news section. Demi posed in a bikini on board a boat during her vacation. And there's nothing really to these little article things. It's just literally describing her selfies. The 23 year old model looked over her shoulder in the shots captioned and then it's got her caption. Maybe this has been a normal thing, but I just think like, what is the point of these? I guess the point is just for them to get more clicks on the article because, well, Demi Rose is thick. And so they just use her to get more clicks by writing pointless descriptions of her selfies. We can tell she's looking over her shoulder. We can tell she's on a boat. Who gives a fuck? I mean, to be honest, the same thing goes for a lot of these things on Snapchat. Like, I really couldn't give a fuck about most of them. It was just this one I felt was so weird because it's really just pointless descriptions of selfies when she uploads. But anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about. The first thing I wanted to talk about is recent, of course, but the other three are kind of old. And they're just things that I thought at the time I just never really spoke about. Thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here. Just another video that took me over an hour to record. But anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you all in my next video.